How are you, Eric? Good. How about yourself? Good. Thank you very much. Uh, we're here uh, uh, just outside San Francisco, and Eric is uh, one of the engineers that work on the new 2016 Chevy Bolt, second generation of this uh, fully electric car. So thank you for having us here, Eric. Yep. Thank you for joining us today. So we're on this road that is like by the Pacific Ocean. It's beautiful. Yep. Highway 1 out here. Yeah. And there you are. We just started the car, obviously being electric, no need for a key even. No noise to start with, obviously, right? Yeah. So, um, Eric, the ball started, I mean, the, like, the first generation started in 2010. Yep, and we launched uh, the first generation, it was a 2011 vehicle that was uh, launched uh, in the fall, winter time of 2010. And we're now uh, in uh, 2015 with our Gen 2 product. So only five years later, yep. and uh, a lot has changed in this it, car. Huh? A lot has changed. We have an all new drive unit, all new engine, all new battery, a lot, and we've taken a lot of weight out of this car. 200 pounds and 100. 200 pounds, wow. Yeah, 200 pounds for the first generation. And that's like a person, that's that, like that, that's you a, or me. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Maybe more you than me. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's a lot of weight. It makes the car. Uh, great, we got great zero to 60 times now. We took out almost a half a second there on our zero to 60 times. Which is now what? It's uh, now 8.4 seconds. It's, okay. It's great. Um, it gives you a lot of, uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. That's what our customers wanted. We were getting a lot, we got a lot of feedback on this car from our first generation exactly. car. Exactly, I mean, the, the first car, obviously, when, when you debuted it, you didn't have that, uh, that database, let's say, of people like talking about it and all that. I mean, people were talking about what without the experience of the car. So what were they telling you that the car needed? Yeah, so the car, our customers told us they wanted better range, better fuel economy, and um, they wanted to be, they, they said it was fun to drive, so they wanted it to be faster, sportier. So our zero to 30 time is almost 20% faster than our Gen 1 car. Our uh, EV range is almost 40% further. We want from 30, 40%. Wow. 40%. Yeah, it's, it's a big number. We went from 35 miles in our 2011 volt to now we're, our estimated EPA range is 53 miles. Okay, and that's when the, the, the battery allows you to go and with no limit of speed, like up to 53 miles now? Yeah, we can do up to 100 miles an hour, all electrically. Um, and like you said, go 53 miles is our um, estimated range. So um, for people who still don't understand the difference between a car like this, like the Bolt, which is 100% electric, even though it has the range extender uh, engine, uh, and a hybrid, what, how would you explain that to a customer? So this car is a pure electric car for the first 53 miles. It, is, it can do everything the car can do when the engine turns on. There, the engine will not turn on when the car has battery and it has charge to do so. Um, it can do up to, like I said before, up to 100 miles an hour. It can do um, z 0 to 60 time in 8.4 seconds. It's very capable. When, but when you do run out of battery, um, what happens is we turn the engine on and it maintains the state of charge at, at, uh, at the bottom. But the engine never gives power to the car? The engine directly? The engine will not charge the battery except for in one case called mountain mode. So where we create a yeah, small buffer of energy if you're going up in a situation like if you live in Colorado or in the, in the mountains where you want to have a little reserve to help you get up a mountain. Okay, no, but what I'm saying is like the gas engine will never be the only powertrain for the car. I mean, it's always yeah. moving with, the, with electricity, right? Um, there is one case, um, um, there is one mode in the new transmission, unlike oh, okay. the first generation. Oh, okay, that's where changed. We, that has changed. Um, there's uh, three operating modes in uh, extended range driving now. We have a low speed, um, full, very high torque capable, um, low speed driving mode where we can in electronically, or we can variable speeds between the electric motors and the engine and charge the car at low speeds. We have a, what's another operating mode called fixed gear where this is where we're actually driving the car with the engine directly to the wheels oh, as, you, okay. as you come up as you drive along. Oh, okay. This you'll see in your passing maneuvers or um, going up a, a slight grade is when you will encounter direct drive to the road. It's a very efficient. Um, our new drivetrain is 
much more efficient than our, our Gen 1 power flow. Okay. And uh, you were talking about like the new technology in, in the battery or like a new design in the battery. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so um, our Gen 2 pack is 18.4 uh, kilowatt hours. We've increased that by from Gen 1, which was um, 16 kilowatt hours, so almost 20% increase. It's uh, a lot more energy. Um, we've also reduced the number of cells in the in the pack. We used to have um, 288 cells. Now we have 192 cells in the pack. A lot less in that pack. So we've gone to a pack. Same, almost the same physical dimensions of the pack. It's still the same T-shape as Gen 1 where it's, yeah. it's underneath the center console and across the back seats here underneath them. Um, but we got 20% more energy and we took 20 pounds out of it. It's a great great success in how much more energy dense we can uh, make the yeah. pack. And uh, the, the new battery has uh, changed the charging times, like recharging times, so it's, or it's more or less the same as the other one? Um, the charging times went up just a little bit. Um, we also went to a higher power onboard charging module. Okay. Um, our generation one had a 3.3 kilowatt charging module. This has a 3.6 kilowatt charging module um, so for the level two charging. So our times in our Gen 1 product were about four hours, and now it's about four and a half hours. Oh, okay. So on, on level two charging. But with then, with that, you get like 53 miles pure electric, and then with the gas engine, the range is about what 400 miles? Yeah, the total range of the vehicle is about 420 miles. So you can you can go a very long distance. You can take this car across country. Just keep filling it up with gas as, as you keep going along. But if you like, let's say. You drive. Let's say people are gonna drive 53 miles an hour, which is more than the average for for the U.S. driver, right? Yeah. Uh, and you go ahead and charge it either at your office or your work your workplace or back at home at night or whatever. You don't really have to put gas. No, ever. Yeah. No. Our customers um, in Gen One were averaging about 900 miles between flows. We expect that number to be roughly averaging over a thousand and some customers could be pushing 1500 miles between fill-ups we it's going to be interesting to see where we go we expect that 90 percent of all drives to be done electrically electric and wow really. gen uh, one was about 80 percent for comparison okay so and what other things in the tier or something has changed too because i guess with the new design now you have really five five seats right like three in the back yep. it used to have only two in the back right yep so we, we've gone to a fifth seat um, all the all the seats um, have uh, you can put a child in the in yeah the, in the in the seat in the center seat as well with uh, with uh, the uh, child's car seat properly equipped but uh, the new battery the shape changed just a little bit allowing us to package that fifth seat um, to get get one more yeah, person enough in here. space for to put so, a, a person in there. Yep, yeah. So when you got to pick up one extra kid at school, our uh, customers were that was a one a feedback from our customers that they wanted that fit a seat to allow for picking up that extra kid at school from soccer practice. We're taking that directly back to the customer, giving them what they want in this car. Yeah. And a lot of uh, new technologies, and actually in this case, this is like a higher grade car, so it has like leather seats and a very beautiful uh, color combination interior. So a lot of, of those things also in this new generation, right? Huh? Yeah, um, the interior is, uh, you'll, you'll find it uh, a lot like most, more of the Chevrolet products in the showroom. Um, the design is less iPod-ish or the, the technology uh, that uh, says this is a green car. It's very mainstream, yeah. very inviting um, interior for the car. And very user friendly. I mean, like a touch screen, and uh, you now have car auto car play, yeah, and a lot of those technologies that a lot of people are expecting in, in, yep. in a modern car. Yeah, and um, lots of great features. And we also, our customers actually told us one thing: they wanted some buttons in the car. So we do have some buttons for the HVAC controls, the volume controls, the things that you need to use most often. Yeah. They're right there. They're the volume, not, like the AC the controls. Is, they're right there, easy to use, not distracting you while you're driving. Yeah. Not have to go through screens. Taking that right from our customers, making it better. And also this car has the hotspot, right? Like it's an yep. internet hotspot car. Yeah, this car has 4G built-in Wi-Fi and it's, it's great um, driving down the road. A, a great. 
Okay. So we're driving here uh, again a very twisty road um, where we can feel the handling of the car which is great I mean and being an electric car is very very quiet. It is very quiet in here. It's a, it's a wonderful ride. Um, we've really made the driving experience it's very it's very quiet on the inside it's and this is the great roads that we're on here too so we, we've driven already about 25 30 miles and so the battery is like getting like to the halfway point so when it gets down to what what level what what level would the gas engine will kick in Yep, so the gas engine will kick in right when we get to the bottom. Um, that's done automatically. You don't have to touch anything to make that happen. You probably don't even hear it, right? You, you don't even hear it most of the time. Um, it's, it's in the background. What we can, what the great thing about, we actually went to a, a light, slightly larger engine um, from a 1.4 liter engine to a 1.5 liter engine in this okay. car. And what that allows us to do is keep the noise of the engine down just a little bit because we can place the engine at a really good speed and load for efficiency and then we can keep that speed down so we keep that noise down for the car. It makes a great driving experience going down the road. And another thing that has changed uh, in the first generation, you needed premium gas and you don't, you no longer do that. No, we, we now need just regular gas. That was another thing our customers wanted us to, pr to improve. So yeah, we only use regular gas in this car and we get 42 miles per gallon on wow. when, when running on the engine combined. So Eric, we're coming to the end of the test drive. We drove uh, a little bit more than 100 miles and I'm almost 50-50, right? 51.7 yep. electric and 55.1 to this point of the gas engine. So no range anxiety today. No range anxiety because we still have like more than three quarters of a tank of gas which give, will give us more than 300 miles. Yep. The battery is da completely down but then we will start uh, the charging process yep. and how, how is that? Like yeah, how, it's, how it's, long will it take to re recharge it again? The, to charge the car is only four and a half hours on a level two charger or 13 hours on a level one charger at uh, at 12 amps. Yeah, so like that's like your regular. That's your regular outlet at home, like where yep. you charge your cell phone. Yep, regular wall outlet, right, right in the home. It's very easy to do. And all you have to do is plug it in. And if you want to try working with your, if your electric company has rates of schedules available, you can even do time of day charging, where you can take advantage of charging at lower costs for the electricity. Yeah, so pretty amazing stats when we think about like uh, MPG and all of that. Can you give us a little bit rundown? Because yeah, so, I don't want to be reading and driving. Yep. Yeah. So our uh, we achieved today um, 50.7 miles, like Javier said today, at, at a 99 and a half MPGe, um, and then we also did 55 and a half miles and uh, got about 37 miles, just under 37 miles per gallon. Um, while we're going today, um, just but we have to say that I was pushing the car a little bit. We we're going fast. Uh, we were doing at some point 80, 85. Yep, Javier was having a little <laughs> fun with the car. Well, Check. you have to, right? Yep, I'm making sure it has plenty of power, both in charge to, in the, its electric mode and in the engine extended range mode. That there's plenty of power to get up and go and make sure you can pass everyone. I know you were having fun with that, Javier. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, thank you very much again for for the time and the experience. Uh, 100 miles on the new 2016 Chevy Bolt Gen 2. So thank been you very a, much, Eric. Been a pleasure, Javier. Thanks.